In his four-point inaugural address, President Nigerian Institute of Building and Vice Chancellor Plateau State University Bokos said, Housing requires policies and regulations which will guarantee quality environmentally friendly housing infrastructure. Izam, however, regrets the huge deficit in housing for the poor majority. He said, synergy between government and the institute will help address the problem. Whether we are looking at quality issues, we have deficits in terms of the quality of the housing in this country. The Nigerian Institute of Building under my leadership in the next two years will launch programs and projects by the grace of God that we hope will contribute to the research to the solution of the housing problem in the country. Congratulating the new president, Plateau State Governor Simon Lalon said his administration looks forward to partner the institute in addressing the challenges confronting the housing sector in the state. Lalong was represented by Secretary to the Government of the State, Professor Nladiatu. The Governor is well aware well, 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 by this gesture before I show the duties of the Asian Director. Plato State Government will partner with you so that we will deliver to the people of Plato State credible housing, credible building and credible shelter. Chairman on the occasion and Vice Chancellor, Benway State University, Professor Toy Yorapu, expressed readiness to establish some departments and faculties, including that of building. Your importance in this country is needed more than ever before. You recall that only when we start, we have an issue of building collapse and levels. That is not just enough, but when a building collapse, but when a building collapses, it is a nation that has collapsed. Because in a building, lives are there. Guest speaker and a legal luminary, Professor Clement Dakas, senior advocate of Nigeria, drew attention of the Institute to focus on the need to adequately develop the area concerning construction law. I would very strongly also encourage you to be a team player. You must remember that this is not about you. You must see yourself as a special purpose vehicle through which the interests of the Institute of Building will be aggregated, articulated, promoted, and defended. So constantly remind yourself that this is not about you. And therefore, you must be a team player. Speaking to newsmen, Senator representing Plateau North, Central District, Stefanos Gang and just East Local Government Chairman Ezekiel Azi praise the emergence of Professor Johanna Izam. And will give the institute uh, the kind of leadership that will bring an end to building collapse, that will uh, ensure that the ethics of the profession is observed, and that will ensure that. Uh, the estate business in Nigeria uh, is professionalized and I know that he is going to do much more. He will surpass our expectations. Highly elated with this success. I don't think this success is just for people of Just East or Israel Nation, but it's for people of Plateau State and the nation in general. You could see from the cream of personality that are gathered here you will attest to the fact that it is the nation that is here and everybody is on high spirit. The 21st president of the institute is the second to emerge from Plateau State since the establishment of the institute 54 years ago. The investor ceremony had in attendance some royal fathers from across Nigeria, top government functionaries from Plateau State as well as display of cultural dance by the Israeli cultural troupe. The Wear Awards conferred on notable Nigerians who have excelled in the field, including Governor Simon Lalong. This is Roland Longs.